Okay, so welcome back to this big lithium project build. A lot of time has passed since the last episode. As I said, the charger that I bought broke within about 12 hours. So I had to wait for two and a half weeks for Laura to come back. So we got another one and then it took about three, three and a half weeks to actually top balance everything. Everything is now top balanced and ready to go. Other site things that have changed, I was going to use two of these boxes. Now I'm only going to use one. And that's because I had slightly bad planning and I thought I could fit two boxes into the battery bay. Battery bay. I can't, um, not with the inverter. So I'm having to try and squeeze everything into one box. But I wanted to just try and cover in this video different ways to actually run the batteries, how parallel versus series, and how I'm actually going to do it for this build in particular, which is going to be a 12 volt build. Um, it could very easily have been a 24 volt, but I'm just going to stick with 12 volts. It's what's on the boat. I can switch to 24 at a future date if I need to, but I don't think I do. So let's just talk about that parallel versus series, and that can kind of hopefully give you a brief understanding of how this is actually going to work and what way to set it up. Okay, just another quick reminder. Um, the last couple of videos are all on our Patreon already. If you want to just watch them, just click the link down below. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so here we've got the four batteries. And no matter what you do, you'll always get sent bus bars. Always ask for more. I did and didn't get sent enough. And that would have made the whole balancing process a lot easier. Right now, the way these are all set with all the negatives and all the positives in line, that is in parallel. And so with all these in parallel, this is how you actually charge them. Um, whenever you're doing a top balance, you want to put all of these like this and so on like this. And then you can just screw them on. The easiest way to actually do it is to finish it off put one on here, put one on here, and then you can charge both ends. And that is parallel. So this is 1200 amps at 3.2 volts. Um, but that's not an awful lot of use for any system because, um, well, <laughs> if you don't have 12 volts or 24 volts, it's a bit pointless. And so it's a really, really simple way to actually make this a 12 volt battery. All I need to do is change this like that and this one. Like that so it goes positive negative positive negative and all you do to make this a battery is you want to decide where your main positive and your main negative is and for this I'll use these two so main positive main negative so you go positive negative you come up here do the same and then go down here and do the same and that right now is a 12 volt battery that simple now you've got your main cell negative, main cell positive, and this is where you attach everything to. But yeah, it is exactly that easy to make this battery. It takes no time at all once it's charged. You want to just add a BMS, and that's what I'm going to do now. Um, but first, I'm going to put everything into the box. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. Again, because I didn't actually intend to, um, to have everything in the one box, it doesn't fit perfectly. I'm having to turn things around a little bit differently. Um, but... It's the same principle and it still works. It's just a case of making use of the space. Okay, so this is the battery box. Uh, initially, it was going to be four this way uh, with space for the BMS and all the other bits and pieces just to fit in alongside it. But there's just too much space. Um, and to be honest, I could have made the boxes smaller and that could have fixed the problem, but this works just as well. So as you can see, I've turned these in a little bit of a strange way with these three going this way and one going that way. Um, and I'll just explain quickly how this is going to be for me, for my system. And again, you can do whatever you want. You can make these a square, you can make them a rectangle, you can make them like this, um, just as long as you can make them work. So this is going to be my main negative. And so it's going to go like this, and this is going to be in positive. So just quickly to build that up. Okay. That's a super simple system now. And now I need to add the other four cells in here and do the same. And then this is going to be my main negative, main positive, and the main positive and main negative. That's the plan. This is also the first time I've tried to fit all of these in together. So hopefully they do fit. Okay, perfect. You would almost think I made it on purpose. Done. So there you go, you have two different batches of 12 volt batteries right beside each other. And now we have a 600 amp 12 volt battery. The other way, of course, that you could do this if you wanted it to be 24 volts, is you could just go round and you could continue this and, and switch all these rounds. So it could go 
positive, negative, blah, 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 and then go to here and then just reverse these and you could connect all these together and that can make one big 24 volt battery. So it's super simple. It takes no extra effort at all. So, so yeah, to make this connect, the only thing I need to now do is add these two together and then do the same with this. I can't quite do it like this. Um, okay, I've just swapped these round completely there because I've just realized I can connect the two positives. And now I can just add one of these bus bars there because it's a perfect fit, which is why I switched it rather than I was going to have to drill another one actually to connect these together. So that saves the problem with that. And now I just need to take the two BMS lines and put them outside the box because it doesn't obviously fit anywhere inside the box. The only other thing that I've added is little bits of polystyrene. As you can see, I need to get one more, a few more bits that will fit down this back side just to cushion that. Okay, so after you actually put these together, you want to now start installing your BMS. This is a 120 amp Dali BMS, and it, there's going to be two of them, one on each bank, which actually means technically we've got a 240 amp BMS, um, which is more than what we need for the, our system. Um, with the BMS comes a balance cable you need to put on your own ends, unfortunately. And yeah, I was only able to get five of these connectors, so unfortunately I had to get five smaller ones and actually drill the holes bigger, which isn't ideal, but for the purposes of this, I'll just show you what you want to do with this. And I'll set up one battery and then I'll fast forward until both are done and I'll show you the whole thing complete. So just before I actually start putting these together, one big problem that is quite common that I might have um, is that these balance leads for the BMS are super short. They're 50 centimeters at most with the things on. Maybe I think it's about 20 inches that is. So yeah, I, I've looked up as to how you can extend these and I think you can just cut them and put in your own wire. Um, and I might have to do it because I have to put the BMS outside the box, like out here. And so for it to actually reach these far corners is a little bit challenging. So we'll see, hopefully it can work, but that is something else to take into consideration. Other more expensive BMSs I know have like more like a meter, which is a bit excessive, but I'd rather have too much than too little, so. Okay, so with this BMS cable, you will see um, four red wires and one black wire. And pretty much it is as simple as you take the first black wire and you attach it to your main negative. For me, in this case, it would be here or here. And then after that, you go to your first red wire. And then that would go to here. And then your second red wire would go to here. Third red wire would go to here. And your fourth red wire would go into your main positive. So let's just hook that up together and that should be pretty straightforward. And when you're doing this, you really want to just go along the wires here because um, it is a flat piece and you just literally count along. It's pretty easy and hard to get wrong. So start with your black. And in this case, we'll just put a little nut on it. Now we want to come along to the sec, the first red wire, which is this one right here. Make sure you get it right. You pull it out and it goes on to the same cell that you just attached the black one to. Then you want to come back to the same thing again. There is our main or black, our first red, which comes along to there. Just keep going along, making sure you've put them on right. And then you want to go to the next one and this is going to go to the next positive in the series, which for me is this one. Again, we want to come back to this. Keep Just keep coming back. You don't want to put, get these wrong. Otherwise, you'll not get the voltage through the BMS and the BMS is, is not going to work at all. Right here. And finally, you want to just grab your last wire, which isn't attached and it goes to your main cell positive. Okay, so now you can actually tighten these nuts all down because the BMS, you'll not need to listen any of these again. The only ones that you need to keep free are these ones because you're going to have to attach other things to them. So just be super careful whenever you're tightening this down that you do not short out the batteries. Just hold the whole wrench if you get have a short wrench or if you don't have a short wrench wrap this around with tape just so that you don't short anything out and in terms of how tight it doesn't need to be super tight these aren't really going to have a load on them so just as long as they don't come off that's all that really matters you just don't want to over tighten because these you know these cells aren't necessarily got the best posts on them they do not have the strongest 
support, so you do not want to sh spread them or shred them out. Okay, so they're all tightened down, and now you can see the problem. This really doesn't come that far at all, um, and I need to try and get the BMS to be outside of this box, as I said to you. So, so you want to grab your BMS then at that point. Um, you'll see on here there's a there's a, a P negative and a B negative. The B negative goes to the battery. The P negative is your new ne negative post. So, so if you go ahead and take this back off, you want the blue side of your BMS to come through and be on here first. So let's connect that up. And then you want the, the BMS um, balance lead on top of that. And it doesn't matter that much, but it's pretty much just, you don't want all of the current to go through the BMS balance lead. There's no real reason for it to. So um, in this case, we can just do this. Okay, so that is now connected. And the final thing that we really have to do is just put this into the, the BMS. As you can see, I don't think this is gonna fit. And it's actually the reason why beforehand, as you can see here, there's a slight little cutout here. I have cut that out to allow a little bit of extra space um, with the BMS cable. So let's just play around with this and see if I can get it connected. Okay, we've had to fast forward a little bit. I have now connected this one and it is sort of screwed onto the side, which I'll show you in a bit, but I don't have the right size screws. And of course, today is the biggest public holiday in Greece. <laughs> so the whole, everywhere shot, supermarkets, shops, everything. I'm not able to get this connected right now properly because I can't get the right size of screws, but I've got some screws in there just holding it in place and I'm not gonna do the same for this side. And then we'll connect it together. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday I had a few problems with one of the BMSs um, and I had to troubleshoot the problem. I figured out what the problem was, but I couldn't actually fix it because yesterday's big holiday, everything was closed. Um, so basically I wanna kind of really quickly go through a couple of reasons why your BMS may not be working. So first up, you wanna make sure that all of your balance leads are actually going to the right battery. That's the biggest thing that could go wrong, the easiest thing that could go wrong. In my case, that wasn't the problem. The next thing is you want to, you can take your two ends of your BMS and just touch them together. So that can maybe short out the BMS and flick it into turning on, but that didn't help for me. The third thing you can do is actually plug in your charger, um, the same charger that you use to top balance. When it's in series, run it through the BMS and that little sudden surge of power can sometimes wake the BMS up. It also didn't fix the problem. So I kind of figured, okay, if the BMS the only way to test if it's a BMS is to switch the two of them out. I switched BMSs and switched the, what BMS was with which bank. And it turns out the BMS was completely fine, which meant it had to be the balance leads. So the balance leads were all correctly placed, which meant the only next thing I had to do was grab a multimeter, do a continuity test and see if there was a problem there. And for whatever reason, four out of the five terminals that I had put on weren't working. There was no there was no power coming through. There was no continuity there, which is very strange. Um, but super simple fix. Just had to go to the shop and actually get it. So now we have it. So that's kind of a brief rundown. If you have problems with your BMS, try those four things. It can't really be much more than that. The BMS is it's highly unlikely that it's broken. Um, just try those things and you might find your way around the problem. But there's other videos on that. Other people go into way more detail. But if you have those problems, it could be one of those things. So I want to now just take the camera off here and actually show you around the mess that is the, the boat at the moment and also the battery configuration, how I've done it, how it's all mounted. Pretty basic. We've got the cells, bank one, bank two. So the positives connect. This is your main positive. We have our BMSs coming from the negative post in the battery out to here. Both BMSs for bank one and bank two connecting through this bolt that just simply bolts through the box. So yeah, this just bolts through with a washer on the back, a lock washer on the front and a nut. So from this post, I will have two 70 millimeter or two AUG cable, which will come from here and run straight to the Victron Smart Shunt. The positive, I'm gonna take two cables, again, 70 millimeter or two gauge, which is gonna come right to here, which is a mega fuse holder with a 400 or 500 amp fuse. We're gonna have then two cables coming from there to right here, which is gonna be the main shutoff for the battery. 
Now at the start of this video, I also said that I was going to add a few more things. The first one was this Victron SmartSense, which I'll install right now. The second thing was an active balancer. I am still not entirely sure whether I'm going to do this or not. Um, I have left space. The reason that's why there's space in the corners is for this to drop in there if I decide to do it. If my top balance hadn't worked well enough, I will use these if I need to. That's a small job. It will take 15 minutes. Um, and then the last thing is these little displays for the capacity. I really want to use these, but the problem is I cannot find the um the terminal it doesn't ship with the terminals that you need and trying to find them is a little bit difficult if i can find them i will use it and i'll just stick these on the outside of the box just as i have as an idea of what the voltages is of each cell without having to get a multimeter out so the first thing i'll do right now is just install this uh, victron thing and that will give me the temperature it'll also show me the total battery voltage of the whole system just from my phone um I will get a second one, I've decided, and I'm going to have one for each bank, and that way I can see if there's anything that's out of, if one's at, say, 13 volts and one's at 13.3 volts, I'll be able to see that they're not quite synced, and I can go back and have to top balance a little bit better, or put on an active balancer, whatever it may well be. Um, but yeah, let's put that on now. So as you can see, I left these spaces right here for the active balancers, if I want to do that. The polystyrene needs trimmed, but right now, let's install this really really simple install um i'm just going to mount it right here it actually comes with a peely back like a sticky back thing so let's peel that off okay and I'm, then you just take the positives and negatives i'm actually going to put one positive here and one negative here just to keep the system in a loop rather than putting them both on the one battery again i will get a second one of these and then i can put one on each battery so Okay, so that's us now on. We have a flashy light. Again, I'm just gonna tidy up some of the wiring at some point, but that now works. Okay, so yeah, we now have the two positive cables coming off and coming straight back here to the mega fuse holder. I'm not gonna install this just yet because I don't know exactly where this is gonna fit into the system. Um, I'm, as I said, I wanna put it on the box just right here, but it might have to go elsewhere based on where exactly I can fit everything into my compartment. That's pretty much this battery done. I'm not gonna install these, as I said, um, unless I need to down the line because the balance hasn't worked well enough. Um, but that's the battery done. That, this box now has 600 amps of lithium. And the last thing I need to do is add some foam um, I added foam around the sides to cushion the outside, but I want to just add something on the top. And this foam is actually the same foam that the, the batteries were delivered in. So the big box that they came in, I have used pretty much the foam out of that one box to do all of this cushioning. So it's worked really well. This was the base of the batteries. As you can see, there's like the four batteries going along there. And I just cut out lines there for the wires to come through. So this is the last piece of the puzzle. And then it's onto the challenging part, which is the next video where I'm gonna show you the entire system laid out um, with all the parts that I'm gonna use, why I'm using those parts, and also the plan for the install in terms of the space that I have, because it's super limited. Like anything, it's easy to build each component. It's hard to put it all together into a tidy and tight space. Uh, but yeah, come back for the next video to see the next stage and then the one after that should be all of it going together. Fingers crossed it works. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.